quadratic function the standard form of the quadratic function is <coughs> ax square plus bx plus c where a is not equal to 0 if the value of a is greater than 0 then the parabola is open upwards and if a is less than 0 then the parabola is open downwards so this is the standard form the vertex form of the parabola is a into x minus h whole square plus k so where h comma k is the vertex if the parabola is open downwards then we have maximum value maximum value is k and if the parabola is open downwards then we have minimum value and the minimum value is also a k so if i know the intercepts means the points where the parabola is touching x axis if they are uh, uh, p and q then i can also express if I know the intercepts then the equation of the parabola is y is equal to a into x minus p into x minus q. All these three are same but they are different ways of representing a function. One is the vertex form, one is the standard form and other is the intercept form. So let me take this question f of x is equal to x square minus 6x plus 8. So this is in the standard form. So if I try to simplify this I can write it as x minus 3 whole square minus 1 so this is my vertex form I can also write the given equation as x minus 2 into x minus 4 so this is my intercept form so what what are the terminologies which a student should know is one is they should know how to find the vertex the second thing is they should know how to find the x-intercepts third is they should know how to find the y-intercept next is maximum and the minimum value next is maximum and minimum value next is axis of symmetry maximum and minimum value next is axis of symmetry axis of symmetry next is zeros of a function and domain and range so these are the things which a student should know about a quadratic function so if they give us uh, if they give us in standard form you can convert into the vertex form and you can find the vertex or if they give us the standard form if you want to find the vertex directly if they give the standard form if you want to find the vertex either parabola is open upwards or downwards irrespective of it if you want to find the vertex it is given by x coordinate of the vertex is given by minus b by 2a one way is you can convert it into a vertex form and find the vertex if not you can just find minus b by 2a to get the x coordinate once you get x coordinate you plug in in the equation that is f of minus b by 2a means for example if i need to find the vertex of x square minus 6x plus 8 so compare this with ax square plus bx plus c if i compare with ax square plus bx plus c b is equal to minus 6 a is equal to 1 so the x coordinate is minus b by 2a so minus of minus 6 by 2 into 1 so 6 by 2 which is 3 so the x coordinate is 3 as i said to find the y coordinate i just need to plug in the value of x so f of 3 is 3 square minus 6 into 3 plus 8 so minus 1 so the vertex is given by 3 comma minus 1 is my vertex hope it is clear so minus b by 2a comma f of minus b by 2a will give you the vertex so if you want to find this axis of symmetry so just find the vertex if the vertex is h comma k so x is equal to h will be my axis of symmetry so here axis of symmetry for this question is x is equal to 3 because the vertex is 3 comma minus 1 so even if you know the intercepts suppose if my intercepts are for example let me take a different question if the intercepts are minus 2 and 6 so minus 2 plus 6 by 2 which is 2 comma 0 so my axis of symmetry would be x is equal to 2 so you can find axis of symmetry even you know the x intercepts even you can find the vertex if you know the x intercepts take the midpoint so the midpoint would be the x coordinate once you get the x coordinate plug in the x coordinate in the function to get the y coordinate so to find x intercepts of a quadratic function to find the x intercept plug in y is equal to 0 so if the function is for example if i take the function is f of x is x square minus 6x plus 8 so x square minus 6x plus 8 is 0 so now you know how to solve this if 
discriminant if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 then we'll have two real values for x if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 then we have one real value for x if b square minus 4ac is less than 0 then there are no values of x which satisfies the given equation no real values so we know how to find what x now x intercept just you need to solve this either you can use factorization also you can use quadratic formula either of these to find the x intercepts of the given function factorization or the quadratic formula to find the x intercepts so finding y intercept is very simple if you want to find the y intercept so what is y intercept just plug in x is equal to 0 so if my function is f of x is equal to <coughs> x square minus 6x plus 8 to find y intercept just plug in x is equal to 0 0 square minus 0 plus 8 so the y intercept is 8 next is domain of any quadratic function is domain is all real numbers domain is all real numbers If you take a function, any function, you can clearly see that the function exists to the negative x-axis and even to the positive x-axis. So the domain is all real numbers. And to find the range, find the vertex. Suppose if the vertex is, vertex of our function is um, 2 comma minus 3, so y is greater than or equal to minus 3 if the parabola is open upwards. If the parabola is open downwards, and if this is my vertex, 2 comma minus 3, y is less than or equal to minus 3. So this is the way I will find the domain and range. Suppose if I need to find the range of the function x square minus 6x plus 9 or plus 10. So I can find the vertex. Vertex of this function would be 3 comma 1. So means if you draw this graph, it would be at x is equal to 3, 1. So y intercept is 10. So the graph would be something like this. So the domain is x belongs to our all real numbers and the range is y is greater than or equal to 1. So if you know these concepts, you can solve any question that is related to the quadratic function.